in the great state of Idaho, Colorado, Oklahoma, and Arkansas, of all states, uh, they allow both treating a stop sign as a yield sign and a red light as a stop sign. Bike vlogger here. I'm a way to walk. I'm a way to walk. Oh, my wrists still hurt, unfortunately. Hopefully, we'll get better soon. I didn't, yeah. Um, so, anyway, there it is. Uh, let's do this. Bikes roll stop signs. Cars run red lights. What's worse? What's worse, guys? What's worse? What is worse? Let's make a left. Let's make a left. Nobody around right now. I could run this red light. I'm not gonna do it though. Try to set a good example for you guys. But did you know it's now legal to roll stop signs? Roll right through a stop sign on a bike in the United States for over 10% of the population. I don't know if you can see the map there. I got a little map. Yeah, so in uh, actually about probably a fifth of the states, like five or uh, ten states now in the United States, allows you to do that. What you was kind of called the uh, Idaho stop, and about half of the states, I don't know, five or six states, half of those states, I should say, five or six states in the United States, they now let you also go through a stop light if you stop first before you go through. It all began with the Idaho law back in 72 or something like that. I don't know, in the 70s maybe? Uh, but yeah, there's been a lot more states that have adopted it uh, as of late. I try to be pretty good, guys. I mean, you usually see me slow down and slam on my brakes for every stop sign I come across. Not a lot of bicyclists do it though because it's kind of silly, especially when there's not a lot of cars around. You can hear really well on a bike. You have no blind spot. It's a lot of work to start and stop. Oh, no, no, we get on a stop for a stop sign. Doesn't make a lot of practical sense. I can go on and on about it, but unless you're a cyclist, it's kind of hard for people to understand. Let's make a right here. Of course, Always number one is safety though, so you know, you gotta always be thinking about your own safety. You know, if you're not comfortable with it, then don't do it. You know, so the safest thing to do is to, generally the safest thing to do is always to, you know, do what a car would do. Ride your bike like a car would drive a car in the center of the lane. But what do you know? There's different laws around that say things like, there's a lot of laws that say you should ride your bike nearest the edge of the road that is reasonable and safe to do or whatever. Which usually, usually unless the lane is wide enough to do that, it's not reasonable and safe to do that because you'd be uh, splitting the lane. Whew. But a lot of laws say stuff like that. You don't want to be on the far edge because you know there's a lot of junk in the gutter that can cause your tires to pop or you could you don't have a lot of air uh, opportunity to move around you know like if there's potholes and stuff. Let's go straight here. Whew. So yeah, that don't make a lot of sense. So I don't know, what's your guys' opinion on the matter? I'd like to know. I know most of, probably about all of you guys who watch my videos are bike commuters or cyclists yourself. And there's a divide in the cycling community, I'm sure, but probably a lot less of a divide than the general public. But it isn't good to see that more states have adopted these, uh, I think, reasonable traffic laws. It's good to see that there's actual advocacy 
and at least thought being taken regarding other modes of transportation. Whew. Even though it, you know, should, I mean, does it really matter in the great scheme of things? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, how many cyclists have actually been pulled over, stopped, and then ticketed for rolling a stop sign or whatever, you know? <laughs> I wouldn't think that many, but I don't know. I don't live in a very, uh, I mean, what? Maybe 1% of the population at any one time in any sort of area in the United States are actually bike commuters. <laughs> You know, people are on the roads most of the time, not just, uh, you know, weekend warriors or whatever. I can give you a little more info here. Let me take a look here. Let me do the responsible thing and uh, stop my bike while I'm not using my phone, like most people would do in a car. Let me stop right here. Shroom. All right. Yeah, so what are those states anyway? Let's take a look here. Of course, Idaho. So, in the great state of Idaho, Colorado, Oklahoma, and Arkansas, of all states, uh, they allow both treating a stop sign as a yield sign and a red light as a stop sign. And then, in the additional states of Washington State, Oregon State, Utah, North Dakota and Minnesota, and I think, let's go here, and I think Washington DC, the city, all those places, there might be more cities, I don't know, all those places allow treating a stop sign as a yield sign. They don't have any law about like treating a stoplight any differently than a, you know, a car. At the very least, I agree with that, you know, treating stop signs as Yield signs, but I mean, like I said, is it that big of a deal? I mean, how many bicycles are really getting pulled over? Where I, I mean, at least it's something to say, I guess. So if your motorist yells at you, like, hey, you roll through that stop sign, instead of just saying, hey, I see cars every day speeding through red lights, that's a little bit worse, right? You ask most any cop, they'll tell you, you know, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a police officer. It's just being human though. You get numb to things. You see stuff over and over and over again, you just get numb to it, you know? So it's like, I would imagine. So it's like, yeah, okay. So technically someone wasn't following the wall, but I mean, you see, you, you know, every day, you, you go outside, you get on the road, you see so many traffic violations. There's just so much stuff that just goes. And it's stuff that would actually, you know, even stuff that matters in terms of revenue for a city. Like there's always, there's this like running joke around where I live. You just, you know, on your, on your way on the road, you just see so many of these cars that don't have any, you know, they have expired tags it's called on a license plate, it's like, hey, they're not paying their licensing fees. And that helps pay for all sorts of number of things. But it just, you know, it just keeps going on and on and on. And, you know, and then you see, I've seen, you know, and you now this is only antidotes, so, so antidotes, you know, so like I've seen cars just run red lights. I've seen cars stopped at a red light. This is the funniest thing. I've seen cars stop the red lights. And no one's coming and the lights like been red for I don't know oh a while maybe 30 seconds there are actually laws on this uh, for everybody if it seems like a stoplight is malfunctioning you are allowed to go through the red but I'm, I'm, I've seen it though where you see the light go red and you stop with like a group of cars and the car in front he's been sitting there for maybe 30 seconds like you can't know it's really the malfunctioning and all of a sudden he just decides okay i'm gonna make a left turn i'm just gonna go through the red and they do it <laughs> and then there's a you know, sometimes there's a cop car a car or two back like they could go around and go chase after him but they don't even do it <laughs> it's like why why so i don't know guys i don't know 
you tr you'll, you'll, go, you'll go nuts getting upset at the silliest things. Which is why I think it's kind of silly. People go nuts over, hey, you saggus, shouldn't be on the sidewalk. Oh my God, yeah, I know you guys, I'm just kind of ranting at this point. Anyways, I thought that was interesting uh, to uh, mention. Cause I didn't know that, you know, like there's, what, there's like, uh, 10 states now? Is that 10? Let me see here. Arkansas, I can memorize this now. Arkansas, Oklahoma, Utah, uh, Oregon, Washington, North Dakota, Minnesota, that's seven, that's seven. Did I say Idaho, that'd be eight. Oh man, and then I know there's Washington DC, which is the largest city. I know how to change this light actually, guys. <laughs> This is sort of one of the situations. There's actually no button here for me to press. So let's just keep waiting. Maybe it'll switch for us, maybe it won't. But that, that I did not know that. Uh, over 10% of the United States population, that means under jurisdictions in which I guess over 30 million people live in the United States, it's completely legal to at the very least roll a stop sign. Roll through a stop sign. And we white, and we white. You know, this is one of those weird, this is a really weird situation actually. See, the direction I'm coming from is like one way, like a one way street. There's no, st I'm not actually waiting for a stoplight, so to speak. I mean, I guess I am waiting for stops. So I'm waiting for the cross street stoplight, but I'm not like looking at a stoplight. I'm looking at a stop symbol on a cross track. At an intersection that doesn't have a stoplight for myself. And there's no stop sign here, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll wait a little bit longer. See, there's a stoplight up over there. But that's like the other direction. Alright, we'll, we'll wait around a little longer here. Then we go, guys. I feel like a complete idiot, don't I? Don't I feel like an idiot? I gotta be safe, though, guys. I gotta be safe. I gotta be safe. I gotta be safe. So yeah, if you do get annoyed about that on your bike commute to work, someone yelling at you like, hey, bicyclist ran a stop sign. Just tell them, car ran a red light. A car ran a red light. Let's wait for this guy. If nobody comes after him, we'll just go through. Cause it's not happening. I'm not seeing anything change. The main thing is just be really safe. Be really safe, make sure nobody's around. Hey. A tree falls down in a forest, no one hears it land. Did it happen? Did it really happen? Is, is it a crime? No one sees it happen. If no one has evidence of it happening. Yeah, there might have actually been a, uh, <laughs> there might have been a traffic camera back there. I don't know. So what a saw me go through. What a saw me go through. See, it's so early in the morning. I think I left here. So early in the morning. The downtown area here, the, the, the stoplights are treated as stop signs anyway. That's what the flashing red means. Anyways, guys, and I stop for it. I stop for it. I stop for it, guys. I'll see you next time, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I'm Black Vlogger. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs>